Come on in. Welcome to Holistic Wellness and Lifestyle, a forum to forage. I'm Jen Lowe, and here is where we grow. As you can see, today is all about plants. I wanted to give y'all uh, my top five easiest plants to take care of. I love plants. Um, they really bring light and energy into any space in your home. Um, they're natural air purifiers and they are truly the gift that keeps on giving. These five here in front of me that I will go into um, are my favorite because you can also propagate and I've gifted them to a lot of co-workers, a lot of family members. They brighten up space, make your home look pretty and um, just last year when I lived in Washington and we had a really bad smoke fires and, and the um, bad air quality, it was just reassuring to know me and my dogs were breathing in healthy air inside coming from these beautiful natural plants. So without further ado, here are my top five easiest plants to take care of for beginners. The first plant that I love, um, I can never say the name of this guy. Um, I call it the watermelon pepperoni. <laughs> um, the leaves on him look like watermelons. And you can see they, I got a lot of new growth up top it is a slow grower. Um, it is a succulent um, with these big leafy greens. Um, it's a trailing plant, but also can be bush-like. Um, but it's just so pretty. I love the different tones and they look like watermelon. I'll spell for you here the correct, uh, I wanna say it's watermelon pepperoni one. Um, but this guy, I've done really well with him. He has transported different states with me and I think he likes bright indirect light, so I keep him in the kitchen sink window and gets a lot of direct or indirect filter light, um, and he's just grown. So this is my first one. My second favorite easiest beginner house plant is a pothos. Um, these can be bush-like or viney, and this is actually a propagation. They can grow in water, um, but it is a starter guide, a starter from one of the other ones that I have inside. Um, there's a lot of different variations of leaves. Um, I like the variegated ones the best. I just think they look really cool. Um, but they grow, they're low light, trailing, and you can propagate them, and they're super, super awesome plants. My third favorite from the group is, this is a Swedish ivy. It's an ivy plant, so it can be trailing or bush-like. Um, I love how just velvety and shiny these leaves get, um, and it's super easy. I wanna say it's lower light. Um, this is a clipping from a mama plant that I did in water, and it has grown so much. And you, as you can see, there's tons of little babies propping up all along. So it just kind of goes as it wants. Um, it'll get huge. And yeah, this is the Swedish Ivy. This guy is the heart-shaped philodendron. And the shapes obviously look like big old hearts. And it's a trailing one, similar to the pothos, um, kind of that viney. The leaves are just beautiful. Um, and you can see a lot of new growth coming in. You can see. And then I had clipped one and started propagating just a leaf node, like right above the node, and in water. And after a few weeks in the water, you can see the root starting to go. So you can just plop these in when they get long enough. Um, you also have some new growth right up there um, for these guys. So super easy. Again, clip them off, stick them in water, you're good to go. So this one is the heart-shaped philodendra, similar to the pothos. Make sure that when you are plant shopping for your pots, they need holes in them. If they do not have holes at the bottom of your pots, then it can cause root rot um, and really kill your plants. And that is what happened with the spider plant. This is one of my favorites. My favorite of the spider plant species is the curly-haired one. Um, just super cute. 
um, they're straight ones and then these curly guys. Um, but as you can see, we're actually in the midst of repotting this. Um, we have a pot already that did not have a hole and it just had a lot of browning. Um, you can tell when they start to brown, uh, that could be caused from either too much water, lack of water, um, or just the root rot. Another reason why I love the spider plants is because like spiders, they produce growths that trail. So if you can see this guy, you can clip these off. And the, this one I used to give the most to friends and families and coworkers as a departing gift or something. Um, but super easy when you can tell the, the roots start to grow on these little guys, so you can clip them off and start the water propagation. So as you can see, there are a lot of roots down growing at the bottom. There's some straight ones, some curly ones from this mama plant. And as soon as you can keep them in water, but as soon as they get long enough uh, for roots, you can actually just stick them in some dirt in some little pots. And that is what we are going to do here. Uh, these guys, make sure that they're small enough to be able to grow and fill in. If you plant them in too big of a pot, they have some trouble growing fully. Um, and we just drilled some holes at the bottom of these to make sure no root rot and they're flowing water um, and draining properly. Um, another tip you can do is put rocks or pebbles um, at the bottom of your plant and pots um, to help filter the water through as well. Last but not least is the plant that you've seen the most in some of my videos, the Monsera plant, otherwise known as Swiss cheese. This guy is more of a baby. Um, his leaves have not fully kind of developed um, fully into getting those holes, um, but known as a Swiss cheese. My partner <laughs> accidentally calls him cheddar cheese because he just forgets what type of cheese. Um, but yes, the Monsera plant or Swiss cheese, beautiful. Um, bushy, grows super easy, um, new growth in, low to moderate light. Um, he doesn't get really direct light at all during the day, um, but just a bright lit room. And when you start to notice roots growing on these bad boys, you can also water propagate. So I'm growing this for a gift for somebody. And again, you can see there, and you just stick them in water and there's the root that is growing in this one. So those are my favorite and you can stick them in like I have the heart, heart shaped philodendra and the Monsera. Um, it's cool to use recycled glass or jars to be able to keep some water propagation. You don't need to go out and buy like new cool um, glass jars, but truly the gift that keeps on giving. Great for gifts. Um, great to put in every room in your house. Um, they improve quality of sleep, they improve your mood, um, and they are just beautiful green um, energy life source that can spruce up your home. Um, so there you have it. Those are my six easiest beginner house plants um, that I've had the best luck with and um, you can really do a lot with these guys um, and they're wonderful. So I hope you learn a lot. Comment below if you have any questions or need any tips or tricks for um, plant growth. But yeah, I hope to see you next time. Um, thanks for tuning in.